Good morning, fellow cloud community nerds, and welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of AWS reInvent. We're here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. You can tell by my sequence. My name's Savannah Peterson, and I'm delighted to be here with theCUBE. Joining me this morning is a packed house. We have three fabulous guests from AWS's global startup program. Immediately to my right is Eric. Eric, welcome to the show. Thank you. We've also got Jimmy and Jeff. Before we get into the questions, how does it feel? This is kind of a show-off moment for y'all. Is it exciting to be back on the show floor? Yeah, always. I mean, like, this you live for this event, right? I mean, we've got 50,000. for this. Yeah, I mean, 50,000 yes. customers. Like, we really appreciate the fact that time, money, and resources they spend to be here. So, yeah, I love it. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, everyone in the same place at the same time. Energy is just pretty special, so it's fun. It is special, and Jimmy, yeah. I know you joined the program during the pandemic. This is probably the largest scale event you've been at with AWS. First time at reInvent. Well, welcome. customers, massive, and I love seeing some of the startups that I partner with directly behind me here from the Cube set as well. Yeah, it's fantastic. First time on the Cube, welcome. Thank you. We hope to have you back. Glad to be here. Jimmy, I'm going to keep it on you to get us started, so just in case, no one has heard, someone hasn't heard of the Global Startup Program with AWS. Give us the lay of the land. Sure, so flagship program at AWS, we partner with venture-backed, product market fit B2B startups that are building on AWS. So we have three core pillars. We help them co-build, co-market, and co-sell. Really trying to help them accelerate their cloud journey and get new customers, build with best practices uh, while helping them grow. Yeah, Jeff, anything to add there? Yeah, I would say we you know, try our best to find the best technology out there that our customers are demanding today and basically give them a fast track to the top resources we have to offer uh, to help them grow their business. Yeah, and not a casual offering there at AWS. <laughs> no. I just want to call out some stats to get every, so everyone knows just how many amazing startups and businesses that you touch. We've talked a lot about unicorns here on the show and one of Adam's quotes from the keynote was of the 1,200 global unicorns, 83% uh, run on AWS. So at what stage are most companies trying to come and partner with you? And Eric, I'll go to you for that. Yeah, so I run the North American startup team. And like our mission is to get uh, and support startups as early as inception as possible. All right? And so we've got kind of three, think about three legs of stool. We've got uh, our business development team who works really closely with everything from seed, angel investors, incubators, accelerators, uh, top tier VCs. Um, and then we've got a sales team, we've got a BD team. And so really, like we're even looking, before customers start even building or billing, we want to find those stealth startups, help them understand kind of product, where, you know, where they fit within AWS, help them understand kind of how we can support them. And then as they start to build, then we've got a commercial team of solution architects and sales professionals that work with them. So, so we actually match that life cycle all the way through. That's awesome. So you are looking at seed, stealth. So if, so if I'm a founder listening right now, it doesn't yeah. matter what stage I'm at. No. no like we, I mean, really, we want to get, and so we, we have credit programs, we have enablement programs, focus everything from very beginning to hyperscale. And that's kind of how we think about it. That's pretty awesome. So, yeah. Jeff, what are the keys to success for a startup and working with y'all? Yeah, good question. Highly differentiated technology is absolutely yep. critical, right? There's a lot of startups that, out there, but finding those that have differentiated technology that meets the demands of AWS customers, by far the biggest piece right there. Uh, and then it's all about figuring out uh, how to lean into the partnership and really embrace what Jimmy said. How do you uh, do the co-build, the co-market and co-sell to put the full package together to make sure that your software is going to have the greatest visibility with our customers out there? Yeah, I love that. Jimmy, how do you charm them? What do the startups see in working with AWS? Oh, his you're, face. You're <laughs> seeing it right here. He doesn't yeah, right there. anything. <laughs> yeah, right there. But 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 that aside, you know, Jeff just alluded to it. It's that it's that better together story, and it takes a lot of buy-in from the partner to get started. It is what we say a, a partner-driven flywheel, and the successful partners that I work with understand that, and they're committing the resources to the relationship because we manage thousands and thousands of startups, and there's thousands listed on Marketplace, and then within our co-sell ISV Accelerate program, there's hundreds of startups. So 
Yeah. Startups have to one, differentiate themselves with their technology, but then two, be able to lean in to do the tactical engagement that myself and my PDM peers help them manage. Awesome, yeah. So, Eric. Yes. Let's say I talk to a lot of founders, because I do. Yeah. And how would I pitch an AWS partnership through the global startup program to them? Yeah, well, so this- Give me uh, my sound bite. Yeah, yeah, look, for, for us, right, this is all about scaling your business, right? And so my team, and, and so we have a partnership. I run the North American startup team. They run the global startup program, okay? So what my job is initially is to help them build up their, their services and their programs and products. And then as, we, as they get the product market fit, and we see uh, synergy with selling with Amazon, the whole idea is to lead them into the go-to-market programs. Right. right. And so really for us, the, the pitch is this. Simply put, we're going to help you extend your reach. Right. We're going to take what you know about your service and having product market fit, understanding your sales cycle, understanding your customer and your value, and then we're going to amplify that voice. Sounds good to me, I'm sold. Yeah. Yeah. I like that, I mean, I, I doubt there's too many companies which, with as much reach as you have. Let's <laughs> dig in there a little bit. Yeah. So how much is the concentration of the portfolio in North America versus globally? I know you've got your fingers all over the place. Yeah. Go for it, Jeff. Well, yeah, you start and I'll... I'll uh, on the partnership side, um, it's, it's pretty balanced between North America and EMEA and APJ, et cetera, um, but the type of partners is very different, right? So in North America, we have a high focus on infrastructure, led partners, right? Mm -hmm. Where that might be a little different in, in other regions internationally. Yeah, so I have North America, I have a peer that has EMEA, a peer that has Latin America, and a peer, a peer that has APJ. And so we have, so we have the startup team, which is global, mm -hmm. uh, and, we, and we break it up regionally, and then the global startup program, which is the partnership around uh, APN, uh, Amazon Partner Network, is also global. So like we're, we, we, we work in concert, he, they have folks in, in married up to our team in each region. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Savannah, what yeah. I'm hearing is you want to do a global startup showcase. Yeah. 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 Uh, the, uh, the <laughs> yeah. AJ, right? We're happy is to sponsor you. Are you. Are you reading are my mind? Yeah, we are yeah. Perfect, very cool. aligned, yeah. Jimmy. Love it. Awesome. I'm going to ask you a question since you obviously are, are in sync with me already. You guys see what you mentioned, 50,000 startups in the program? 100,000? How many? What did you Well, you're talking about for the global startup program, the ISV side? Sure, yeah, yeah, let's do both the stats actually. So the global startup program is a lot smaller than that, right? So globally there might be around a thousand startups that are in the program. Very elite little spot. Now, a lot bigger world on Eric's side. Yeah, globally over 200,000. Whoa! Yeah, I mean you think about, it. so just think about the, the keep number of startups. those all in your head? Uh, yeah, I can't keep yeah. track. <laughs> like, uh, North America is quite large. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it, like, because look, there's startups are getting created every day. Right, and then there is, you know, there's positive exits and negative exits, right? And so, yeah, I mean, look, there is, uh, it, yeah, it's impressive. And, and particularly over the last two years, uh, you know, you're, well, over the last two years are a little bit crazy, you know, bonkers with the yeah, amount of money little, coming in. But a couple yeah, things little, happen. little, little, right? But, and yet, it's cool. the, the creation that's going to happen right now in the market disruption is going to mirror what happened in 2008, 2009. Yeah. And so the, the creation's not going to slow down. No, hopefully not. No. No, and our momentum, I mean, everyone's doing things faster, more data. It's all that we're talking about. Yeah, Do yeah. more and make it easier for everybody in the yeah. same central location. Jimmy, of those thousand global startups that you're working with, can you tell us some of the trends? Yeah, so I think one of the big things, especially I cover data analytics startups specifically. Mm -hmm. So one, moving from batch to real time mm -hmm. analytics. So whether that's IOT, gaming, leaderboards, querying data where it sits in an AWS data lake. Like companies need to make operational decisions now and not based off of historic data from a week ago, or last night, or a month ago. Right. So that's one, and then I'm going to steal one of John's lines, is data is code. Mm -hmm. That is becoming that base layer that a lot of startups are building off of and, and operationalizing. So I think those are the two big things I'm seeing, but would love. Curious to you both. Yeah. Jeff, let's go to you next. I'm yeah, curious. totally. Yeah. I think from a, a, a broader perspective, um, you know, the days of completely free money and infinite resources are coming to a close, if not yeah. already close, oh, I, right? I, I, we all work with startups. We yeah. can go ahead and just That's talk close. about how the well is just a little, so little more So I think it's dry. closed. And so because yeah. of that, it's how do you do with a lot, how do you how do you produce the results on the go-to-market side with fewer resources, right? And so it's incumbent on our team to yep. figure out how to make it an easier, simpler process to partner with AWS, knowing those constraints are very real now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, to build on that, I think mid-stage, it's all about cash preservation, right? And yeah. extend that runway. Especially and right so, now. Yeah, and so part of that is getting into the right infrastructure. You know, when you had a lot of people, suddenly you don't have as many people moving into managed services, making sure that you can scale at a cost-efficient way versus yeah. at any cost. That's kind of the latter stage. Now, what's really been fascinating more at the, at the early stage is, I call it the rise of the AI, AIML native. And so, where, you know, say three years ago, you saw customers bolting on AI, now they're building AI from the start, right? And that's pervasive across every industry, whether it's in FinTech, life sciences, healthcare, uh, climate tech, you're starting to see it all the way across the board. And then of course, the other Great thing point. is, yeah, the other one is just the rise of just large language models, right? And just the, there is, I think there's the hype and there's the promise, but you know, over time, I, the, the amount of customers, big and small, whom are using large language models is, is pretty, pretty fascinating. Yeah, you must have fascinating jobs. <laughs> I mean, I, I, genuinely, it's so it's so cool to get to not only see and and have your finger on the pulse of what's coming next. Essentially, yeah. that's what startups are, and but also be able to support them and yeah. and to collaborate with them. And it's clear the commitment to community and to the customers that you're serving. Last Thank question you. for each of you, and then we're talking about your DJing. Oh uh, yeah, I, I definitely yeah. want to. I want to see that. Oh no, we are. Well, yeah. We're, we're going to close right. with that as a little as a little <laughs> pitch for everyone watching this show, so we make sure the crowd's just packed for that. This is your show, as you said, you live for this show. Yeah. Love that. Give us your 30 second hot take, most important sound bites. Think of this as your, your thought leadership shining moment. What's the biggest takeaway from the show, biggest trend, thing that has you most excited? Ooh, Ooh that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a difficult one. There's, a, there's can, a lot going on. There is a lot going on. I, I mean, you can say a couple things. I'll allow you, you know, more than 30 seconds if you no, I mean, look, I, I just think the, well, what's, what's fascinating to me in having, this is like my third or fourth uh, reInvent, is just the volume of new announcements that come out. It's, right. It's impressive, right? I mean, it it's is. impressive in terms of number of services, but then the depth of those services and the building on, I think it's just, it's, and it's really amazing. I think that the trend you're going to continue to see, and there's going to be more keynotes uh, tomorrow, so I can't you know, let anything out, but just you know, AI, ML, really excited about that analytic space, mm -hmm. serverless, just continue to see the maturation of that space, particularly for startups. I think that to me is what's really exciting and just seeing folks come together, start exchanging ideas and I think the last piece I'll do is a pitch for my own team. Like, yeah. We have like 18 different sessions from the North American startup team. Wow. And so, that, I mean, shout out to our, our uh, solution architects, putting those sessions together, geared towards startups, for startups, and so that's probably what I'm most excited about. Casual, that was good. And you sure. kept it in time. I think yeah. that was great. There you go. All right, Jeff, you just cool. had a little uh, practice time while he was going. Let's see. No, <laughs> so uh, it's just exciting to see all the partners that we support here. So many of them have booths here uh, and are showcasing their yeah. technology uh, and being able to connect them with customers to show how advanced their capabilities are that they're bringing to the table to supplement and complement all the new capabilities that AWS is launching. So to be able to see all of that in the same place at the same time and uh, really hear what they need from a partnership perspective, that's what's special for us. It is special. All right, Jimmy. My thoughts on yeah. reInvent? <laughs> not DJ yet. Yeah, not, yeah, DJ not, yet. Not, not DJ, not DJ, but what, I mean, <laughs> your first reInvent, you're, you're probably your first time getting to interact with a lot of the people that you chat with yeah. face to face. How does it feel? What, what is, what, what's your hot take, your, 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 uh, your look through the crystal ball if you want to take it farther out in front? I think it's, Finally getting FaceTime with some of the relationships that I've built purely over Chime uh, and, and virtual calls over the yeah. past few years has been incredible. And then secondly, to the, to the technical enablement piece, I can announce this because it was already announced uh, earlier, is AWS Security Lake. One of my partners, Cribble, was mm -hmm. actually a launch partner for that service. So, you know, a little two to the horn for Global Startup Program. One of the coolest things at the tactical level as a PDM is working with them throughout the year and my partner Solution Architect, finding these unique alignment opportunities with native AWS yeah. services, yeah. and then seeing it build all the way through fruition at the finish line, announced at reInvent, their logo up on screen. Like that's, I can sleep well tonight. Job like, well done. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. That is cool. So. I've already told me before you even got here that you're a DJ, and you happen to be DJing at reInvent. Where can we all go dance and see you? So, shout out to Mission Cloud, uh, who has sponsored uh, Tao Day Beach Club on Wednesday evening. So yes, I do DJ. 
Uh, you know, I appreciate AWS's flexibility work-life balance, <laughs> so I'll, I'll give that plug right here as well. Uh, but no, it's something I picked up during COVID. It's a creative outlet for me. And then again, to be able to do it here is just an incredible opportunity. So Wednesday night, I hope to see all the cube and everyone there. We will definitely be there. Well, be careful what you wish name? for. Oh, yeah. stage name, uh, DJ Hot Hands. Okay. So find me on SoundCloud. Oh, yeah. DJ Holler. Hot Hands. All right, so check out DJ Hot Hands on SoundCloud. <laughs> and if folks want to learn more about the Global <laughs> Startup Program, where do they go? Uh, AWS Global Startup Program. Uh, we have a, a website you can easily connect with. All our startups are listed on AWS Marketplace. Most of them are on Marketplace. You can go to our website, AWS Global Startup Program. Uh, and yeah, you can find us there. Fant fantastic. Well, Jeff, Jimmy, Eric, it was an absolute pleasure Thank starting you. the day. We got startups for breakfast. I love that, and I, I can't wait to go dance to you tomorrow night, or tonight, actually. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. cheers. Great hey, I'm here, I'm here for the fist bumps. This yeah. is awesome, and y'all are great. Hope to have you back on theCUBE again very soon, and we'll have to coordinate on that Global Startup Showcase. All right. I, I think it's happening 2023. Get ready, folks. Here we go. Excellent. Get Thank ready. You. All right, well, this was our first session here at AWS reInvent. We are live from Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Savannah Peterson. We're theCUBE, the leader in high-tech reporting.